Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Brian, or you can call me Brian Manilow today. I've had a cold this weekend and my voice is still recovering, but I'm going to sit down and talk to you guys today about my first impressions of the new world beta, give you guys my insight, what I'm thinking, and honestly, I think it's going to break down to new world versus Ashes of Creation kind of to start this video. I'm going to talk about combat, movement, voice acting, quests, the overall flow of the game and the issues that I've had with it. And uh, let me know if you guys have any comments or questions in the uh, comment section, and I'll do my best to get those answered for you guys. Tomorrow, I'm going to be live streaming again uh, this <laughs> this game here on YouTube if you want to come hang out and uh, just kind of chill, ask any questions about it, and maybe we'll be giving away some more beta keys. Stay tuned for that. But first and foremost, New World versus Ashley Creation. I think there's a real interesting contrast with the expectation that these two games have going into it. One of the things I think a lot of people are really experiencing and enjoying about this game, at least from the comments that I'm reading from you guys, then the tweets that I'm reading from you guys is first and foremost, wow, this is way better than I expected. I think the new world's expectation was this game's going to suck. It's Amazon who they've never made a good game. This game's going to suck versus ashes of creation in which that the expectation that I see running around online saying, it's going to save the MMORPG genre. That's some high, that's a high bar for Ashes. So I honestly, I hope Ashes does do that. I hope it does deliver. New World only has to not suck in order for it to be like exciting and to see. And I think it goes well beyond that. My experience today has been one of the best. Hey, let's talk about the server architecture. First and foremost, I had an incredibly stable connection. I've only had a couple of latency with enemy issues, like one or two. Essentially, maybe the boars were just kind of bugged out. Um, at its core, things are responsive. The world is responsive. And the quest structure is just pulling me from A to B to C in a very fluid way. And then at the same time, the game is wide open for me to go wherever I want to go. I can follow the chain. If I want to follow the chain, I can go about go in my own direction and do my own thing if I want to. There's benefits to following the chain, things that unlock. But there's this world to explore and to conquer. And uh, I'm looking forward to being able to sit down and play it some more. Right now, I'm testing out some controller configuration. I didn't want to do that on stream. I'd like to go into tomorrow's stream and be able to sit here and say, yes, here's the configuration. Here's what you want to do. And then be able to go forward from there. So stay tuned for that. And maybe we'll be able to break that down into an updated guide for you. I, I really like really feel the changes from the preview to today. Combat feels fluid. It feels connected. It feels like there's a physicality to it. And there's a responsiveness to it that I did not feel uh, in the preview. That might not be the same experience. So I recommend making sure that you're playing on a server that has a really good ping relationship with you and your game. Now, the controls themselves, like they definitely been improved. I like that I can actually jump now. I didn't know if I was going to really enjoy that. But spacebar becoming that jump and then you can set yourself to auto mantle versus not. Uh, it's a really nice thing. I did run into a bug where my character kept trying to reposition himself while I was interacting with an object. I had auto mental on, turned that off. That solved that problem uh, right away. So that was actually really good to see. So if you're running into objects where you're like, I'm trying to interact with this object, but I keep falling down. Note that that is something that is happening here as well. Voice acting. I didn't think the game, I don't think games always need it, but it adds so much. It adds so much to the world and the characters that you're interacting with. And honestly, I think they've done a good job. They've done a great job, actually. I'm really quite impressed, and I'm really excited to see how that plays out even further. Not much that I can really say. I haven't talked to every character in the game. There, I haven't discovered that like a, if there's one character out there that's just like brutally like unbearable. And the question will be is like over the course of the life of the game, how do they maintain those voice actors and that evolution as games get more and more content added to them? Let's see here. Uh, issues and bugs I, I did run into I finally crashed out and obviously the login queues are the login queues as more and more people are playing this game right now it's really massive I think obviously it's the new hotness uh, a lot of people have been hungry for a new MMORPG and to have one finally come out uh, I think is a really exciting thing to see yeah my throat <laughs> so the question obviously is, is it going to be uh, sustainable should you jump in that's going to be completely up to you i would actually at this point easily recommend it it's 40 dollars, and if i mean if money's tight and you don't want to risk 40 dollars, i totally get it but at this point I'm, i i can easily say if you got 40 dollars burning a hole in your pocket i think this is going to be a game that you're going to enjoy you're going to feel it from the moment that you step into this game 
you cut down a tree and the tree falls down, you're going to feel it in just the level of detail that the user interface, that the settings, that the world all bring together. Lots of things to do already. And I'm looking I, like I just want to be sitting down to play this game right now. I am in queue 378 people ahead of me uh, in this in this case. So I'm sitting down to make this video to talk to you guys about. Oh, my goodness. Like, how incredible is this game? I, I called everybody. I texted all my friends saying, guys, I think this is this is a legit thing. And my final thought, I didn't put it in my summary at the beginning. I, I honestly don't know what WoW does after this, right? They're already lost so much interest and a lot of people are checking out Final Fantasy XIV. Excellent game, by the way. You should totally check that out. I don't know how WoW responds to what New World offers as a base package. There's no way they're, they're going to deliver the visual and the emotional and the the like the clarity that new world offers i think new world has an opportunity to get its hooks in you and hold on to you for 10 15 more years assuming amazon steps up which i can't imagine them spending the kind of money they spent and have them not step up so my first impressions are this game's phenomenal there's so much of this world to experience and to see and to uh and hopefully do this together guys we got our discord you want to if you're looking for a community to play new world with we're open you can come hang out with us we're going to be on the atlantis server i know it's packed i know it's packed i'm really interested to see how new world responds to this responds to either letting more people on the servers opening up new servers how do they flex and how do they structure their development that's it guys short video i really want to sit down and thanks for bearing with me, <laughs> Brian Manilow here today. Uh, let me know your thoughts, especially like how does new how does WoW even respond? How how does how does how 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 I I I love to know. I cannot fathom and outside of a WoW too, outside of just like here's this brand new thing. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go get some more tea. I'm gonna go rest my voice. I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for being here. Thanks for all the new subs, likes, shares, and all that stuff. Appreciate you. Appreciate all the members here at the channel supporting me and my family directly, guys. Love you, love you faces. Hopefully, you're having fun with this game. Let me know. Positive, negative, all, all thoughts. Welcome in the comments. But that's going to be it, guys. I hope to see you next time. But until then, take care. I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video. And if you're listening to this voice, you are a special person and I really do appreciate it. If you feel like watching more, YouTube's got its recommendations for you on the screen. Otherwise, I hope to see you soon. Bye.